Hello, everybody, and good day. This is Fred with Wentworth CCTV of New England, and we are coming at you today with a quick video um, based on a comment uh, by a subscriber, um, Drake's Island. Uh, the question is, they have a VAWA uh, NVR, they're trying, or DVR, they're trying to play back a video clip um, and download it. Um, they're able to do that, but when they download the file, it's only allowing them to download a one-hour clip. Um, not the um, small one-hour clip that they need for the police. Um, I've actually ran into this problem myself when I first started using the DAWA product. Um, it's an easy thing to fix, and we're going to cover it right now. All right, kids, let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we do, as always, there's a red subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Please click that and subscribe to our channel so you are notified when we post future content. Also, like the video if it's useful to you. And as always, leave comments. This video is based on a subscriber question or comment. And oftentimes, those are the things that lead to the most useful uh, videos. And that's the purpose of doing this, give you useful videos. So, yeah, first thing we're going to do is click on the Dawa Smart PSS client software icon. Um, if you have not seen the video on how to download this tool and use it, there's a link above right now walking you through that process. It is very similar to the HikVision HIK Connect platform um, or IBMS 4500 through HikVision. Um, we're not going to spend a lot of time on the smart PSS features, um, but there's a live view in the playback. Obviously, what we're doing right now uh, is playing back video and downloading it. So we're going to pick, pick the playback icon. Okay. Um, and that will bring up your uh, device. Um, I today am logged into a marina. Um, so we'll do this demo from there. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to pick the camera that you want to download the video from. Okay, down here you are going to pick the day um, that the incident occurred. Okay, and down here you're going to hit this search button. And when you hit the search button, the uh, client software, the PSS software, is going to work with your NVR or DVR um, and upload the video from that day, um, which you'll see it's done here. You just pick the time. You'll see a time scale, 2 a.m., 4 a.m., 6 a.m., 8 a.m., 10, noon, 1400, which is 2 p.m., 1600, 4, and so on. You'll double click on the time period um, of the incident. And of course, if you're looking for the incident, you're going to have to do um, some homework to find it happening. Um, not everybody records on motion activated recording. So as you can see, there is a marina here. There's not a lot going on. Um, but when you find your incident and you want to download the clip, uh, it's a relatively simple process. Um, what you need to do is use the snippet tool. There is a pair of scissors right here, um, and you can see time clip. You do not want to hit, this is where a lot of people go wrong, um, the export button. Okay, You want to hit the start clip, and it's going to give you an hour snippet by default um, from the time you click those scissors. Okay, And a lot of people just download from here. That is not how you do it. You want to drag um, the end time to make the clip uh, small and to the point, okay? Like I said, by default, it's an hour like this. So we want to go, say, if we only need a couple seconds, say we need 23 seconds right there. See, the duration is 23 seconds from 10.58.53 to 10.59.16, okay? Once you pick your, your snippet or your time period, you, again, do not want to hit this download button. You don't want to do that. You want to clip the scissors again, okay? And what it will do is it will give you uh, export options. You want to export in the MP4 format so you can play it back in Media Player and those types of um, tools. Um, then you're going to hit OK. It's going to tell you it needs to stop doing playback. That's fine. But when it downloads the clip, look here. It's only downloading for a few seconds, and the clip will download very, very fast. Uh, by default, uh, like the, the user's comment said, it, it downloads an hour clip. 
um, which takes a long time, number one. Number two, it uses a hard drive, a lot of hard drive on your computer to store that video, and it's impossible to email such a large clip, okay? Most email exchanges um, want the clip to be, you know, 20, 30 seconds. Um, it's definitely not going to send an hour clip of high def video, it's too large. Okay, so we've exported the video. Um, now the only thing we have left to do is go find it on our computer, uh, which is kind of tricky. So let's show you where Smart PSS stores these videos on your PC. If you go into your file explorer, you'll want to pick your main drive, which is most likely your C drive. Um, you're going to go to Users, Public, and look here. There's a Smart PSS file that you don't even know about. Go there, um, and all of your recordings will be in your record file. So if we double-click Record File, here are our downloads. We'll double click on that. Um, and right here is our clip. Okay, so we double click on the clip. And as I promised, it will play through Media Player. Um, and you can use this file um, to email uh, as an attachment to your insurance company, to the police, um, to corporate. Okay, um, it's a very simple process and it can be done uh, for just a few minutes or a few seconds. You don't have to do the whole hour clip. Okay, hopefully for you, Drake's Island, this was useful. Um, if it was a good video for you, please like it. Um, comment um, if you have comments on it or ideas for future content. And we will see you all in the field.